good morning uh, one and all uh, welcoming you to an another uh, discussion topic on whether ligand optimization or minimization is required for uh, molecular docking i mean before doing molecular docking that's a discussion part now this is actually inspired from a recent forum discussion on llb um, so uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, like uh, one of the member brought up this questions and a lot of discussions came in uh, so many had uh, um, a bit confusions many were very clear uh, and uh, we come to a conclusion it is more of uh, something software specific and data specific so uh, we will go uh, with a very quick overview on this myself giri uh, and uh, working on this particular area Uh, since 13 years and my social uh, network handle is giri bio so the concerns are like this uh, like first uh, when you consider a ligand uh, before docking uh, if you are con- uh, going to consider large data set of maybe natural compounds or any others uh, we have to do a, some kind of cleaning or preparation so we have to consider like a non ionized we have to look at uh, counter ions chemical reactive moiety uh, prom- uh, promiscuous binders fluorescence molecules like dyes redundancy i mean duplicates diversity desaltation uh, process that means small fragments to be removed uh, because uh, uh, docking programs might not be able to handle it and uh, racemic mixtures like racemates there are certain tools that can handle racemic mixtures and others may not be both will be considered as uh, uh, the same uh, stereochemistry so those things to be uh, considered anyway and the other concern is like optimization uh, whether an optimization is really required on a ligand in order to check its bond length bond angle dihedral stereochemistry steric hindrances if you are going for a more uh, flexible compounds probably when you have more rotatable bonds if it is not optimized well so your starting uh, op- uh, geometry might be not uh, a pre organized one so you have to check that so that's where steric hindrances also to be checked then charges and valencies so that's where we call it as neutralization so some tools they call them it as neutralization so all these parameters to be considered on optimization part and later we also have to consider minimization so minimization of course we always look at steepest dz and uh, then uh, and also it depends upon different force field now the quality of the minimized structure is completely dependent on the force field uh, so there are mm ff force fields universal force fields uh, jaff force fields amber force fields dromax um uh, for gromos force fields then charmem force fields uh, opls is there and many more now uh, um, in my molecular dynamics uh, uh, session i have clearly mentioned about the quality of this uh, force fields how far uh, the predictions from the force field are close to experimental uh, uh, prediction or experimental uh, values so uh, the, the, that of course it is a 2012 paper after that lot of improvements have been optimizations have been done on uh, force fields to improve the accuracy and also we do minimization to understand the false positives and artifacts oh, yeah uh, sorry there is a typo in the artifacts spelling um, right uh, so uh, this is what we have to now consider so whether uh, we have to do all this in a single go or uh, whether we have to do only one optimization or minimization now that is a concern that we have to understand it all depends upon the data that you are going to use what kind of from where you got this data whether it is a curated one whether it is a publicly deposited one whether it is a crystal structure one so it all depends upon where you got the data and the capability of different algorithms how to handle them another concern was whether we have to generate confirmations before doing docking but that we will discuss in a moment so the challenges to deep dive one is crystal structures 
it is not a challenge, it is about uh, the question whether to minimize or not. So, I am sure that many of us might not be having access to CSD database because it is a paid subscription and that is a small molecule crystal structure database available. And uh, for me, I am not sure uh, about the other experts, for me, I do not want to uh, minimize the crystal structure again uh, because they are X-ray diffraction data. I don't say that is the most accurate uh, uh, elucidation method uh, in the world, but the most accessible and available method is that one. We do have NMR also, but again, right. So, um, um, so that is what we have to consider. So, and also one more thing we have to see is. Uh, when you have a crystal structure uh, on as being synthesized and you crystallize it, elucidate the, the crystal structure, absolutely fine. But when it being administered into a biological system, it goes and bind to uh, your target protein or some other target, the confirmation of your crystal structure or of your ligand is going to change. So the biological complex co-crystal confirmation will be different from the actual confirmation of your compound. So, this is where we have to have a better understanding. So, when we are trying to administer to the docking program, we have to ensure that we have a very good starting point. That does not mean that you have to perform a DFT calculation for all your compounds. No, for uh, 1 million compounds, DFT it takes time. So, it is always to start with some kind of optimization, right. Now, 2D structures. So, for crystal structure, I am coming to a conclusion we need not do any minimizations or optimization, it is all clear. But only thing if you have any charged uh, uh, region atoms or if you have any salt forms that to be cleaned, uh, that you have to ensure that. But otherwise, you do not require any minimization, it is all taken care. Now, coming to 2D structures, whether drawn in a a sketcher, chem sketcher, or Marvin sketch, or chem draw, wherever, and then you downloaded it from some other resources. Now, where you have to consider whether the explicit hydrogens are added or not. You also have to ensure that a very good uh, uh, tool or an algorithm is being used to um, ensure that 2D to 3D optimization is taken care of. Because anyway, you cannot take 2D to your docking algorithm, you need to take 3D. Now, you might think that, okay, this particular docking algorithm accepts 2D also. Please bear in mind, for you, it does not look like multiple algorithms coming into the picture to do the job. But on the back end, there might be some tools to convert 2D to 3D. I know many tools use as open Babel on the back end. So, in order to support different file formats, even some of the commercial tools also use open Babel uh, with proper licensing from the developer. So, they have uh, open Babel, even they have in house converting uh, tools also for reading different file formats and converting 2D to 3D on the fly. Because we do not want to do a too much of minimization there, because as I really said, docking algorithms takes care of it, most of them. Earlier days it was not, but nowadays it is most of them takes care of it. So, 2D to 3D optimization to be, today I will be showing you an example in a, a freely accessible software. Uh, of course, it is not completely free, but uh, most of its features are free uh, to academics also. So, that will be taken care. Now, comes with the confirmers. Now, confirmers is a, a bit tricky question and the challenges here. The question is whether I need to generate uh, or I have to do confirmation analysis or sampling before I am performing any docking analysis. The first to, to answer that question, it all depends upon your uh, docking algorithm. If the docking algorithm can generate uh, different poses and uh, confirmations within the algorithm, you need not do. Now, currently you have many docking programs available. I think 99.9% .9 most of them are taking care of it. So, you need not to worry. Earlier days, yes, of course, that you have to take care of generating the confirmations. There you have to see which is the global minima, local minima. Uh, remove redundancy and looking at the energy parameters. Of course, you cannot use high level force fields, you will be using MMF force fields. There are free tools available like PC model and uh, as well as balloon uh, to generate confirmations. But 
ensure that these confirmers are not uh, the best ones because yeah, he, again you have to do uh, a bit a high level of uh, a minimization to understand whether the energy is a local or global minima. The other challenge in uh, confirmations is that let's consider that you already uh, the software is having the capability to take care of confirmers but there is something called uh, ring confirmations we don't know how many of them can take care of that so boat and chair so boat confirmations and so let's say take cyclohexane right so it, it could have uh, different uh, confirmations also so that's where uh, we have to think in and it is very important that boat and chair confirmations will also give you different uh, uh, activity so uh, this is where we have to focus on and a good starting structures are always required when you're looking so when you give many confirmations to the law you're a waste of time so you have to see how fast and quick you can get the data so uh, another thing is that implementation and visual example so uh, how we can implement this and uh, so let me show you an example so this is how about marvin sketch uh, uh, and uh, let me bring in a simple structure just to make it an example so i'm oh, sorry um yeah sorry my mouse clicks are not going well so that's the reason sorry about that so but i think it, it should do the purpose so now this is a 2d structure right uh, so let me zoom in so this is a 2d structure uh, okay this is a 2d structure what if i this completely 2d so let me show you that information uh, by clicking the source or not source oh i forgot so this was like it will show you the coordinates actually uh, ah there is an option sorry i have to look into it uh, this tells you that uh, um, what are the coordinates so because i want to show you there is only x and y uh, coordinates uh, sorry i missed where it is actually there is an option i will put it in the description when i find it and uh, now this is a 2d structure x and y coordinates only available now going to structure I'm going to add explicit hydrogens right now explicit hydrogens are added I can go to structure and say clean in 3d now uh, this is a 3d structure now of course this will be this um, uh, middle uh, region uh, rings will be planar uh, because they are aromatic now if you want to convert it to 2d you can always clean it to 2d and if you want to remove it uh, the hydrogens explicit you can still do that so another one uh, option is that you can also generate confirmations here but ensure this only works for licensed uh, i don't have a license here so uh, you can use mmf force field energy units let's keep it uh, simple and then click ok so that it will try to generate uh, uh, a single confirmer and this is also kind of an optimized uh, not uh, clearly optimized but you can see it is a 3d structure right so uh, these are something very simple and uh, I, I know that many of you can also use uh, Avogadro, uh, Argus Lab, even Open Babel also has um, a feature called minus minus gen 3D when you're converting any of the 2D to 3D so that it takes care of 3D optimization. And as I already told you, this was being uh, inspired from the discussions from LLB forum. So uh, one of the member called uh, Jitesh uh, uh, Doshi so he picked up this picture I, I really would like to acknowledge because I took this picture from uh, his uh, post so here you can he has very well narrated the difference here the first one uh, without this optimization of course it's a 2d structure being converted to 3d without the optimization you can see after docking it is minus 9.9 k cal per mole after with optimization you can see it is minus 9.1 k cal per mole you can see the configuration change in the sulfur and the two uh, oxygens that's where you see the difference right so even though we say docking algorithms takes care of confirmations but there are certain things that you have to take care 
So that's where uh, we always say a good starting point or a good pre-organized structure or 2D to 3D conversion optimization should be properly managed. Then you will have a good starting structure to perform your docking analysis. Therefore, I would like to uh, thank uh, uh, all the LLB members, Divya, Tirumal, uh, Jitesh Doshi from whom I have taken this picture uh, and also inspiring this particular topic of discussion. Uh, so that uh, uh, I really thank them because that's where we, uh, these questions actually makes us to think. So the next topic, uh, what I'm thinking is of uh, proteins, the, whether they are to be minimized or uh, not for molecular docking. So I'm planning to do sessions like to answer these questions. Of course, if there is any uh, improvements or some other views, please post it on the uh, comments or some um, um, modifications or improvements to be done. I'm always happy to receive your critical feedback too. Thank you so much. Uh, see you in another video. Bye for now.